everybody, Ryan with Ryan Industrial. And uh, getting started here on the carburetor. I got this baby out. Looks like they uh, somebody made a nice custom gasket here. But uh, I will reuse it. It wasn't leaking. So you can have some silicone on there. Shit, that's, I don't even know if that's silicone. It might just be some... I don't know, whatever. The cardboard here. And I'm just cleaning this thing up with uh, just a small standard screwdriver, just trying to get this gunk off as best as possible. And then I got the uh, got some memory cloth here. So I'm going to clean it up. But these uh, pickup tubes here, they look pretty decent. There's not a lot of crap on them. There's a screen right there, and that one too. And I cleaned out the inside of the tank with some brake cleaner. So. Um, see in there ah, it definitely has a little bit of rust but not terrible so I'm not too worried about it so I'm gonna clean this thing up and uh, I got these today at the dealer so I've got a new diaphragm here this one here goes right here and that's pretty much the fuel pump. So diaphragm, and then I believe this guy is for the front here. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, that's that's for the only problem. Uh, intake gasket. Yep. Diaphragm. Retour. So I'll uh, tear this thing apart and come back at you. All right. Well, we got it all torn apart and cleaned up. It looks more like a carburetor now than it did before with all the dirt gone. And uh, here's that side cover, and then here's the fuel pump. You see how it's bulged out like that? It's just completely... It's just screwed. It goes on like that. Now looking at this gasket, it looks a little bit different. But if you size it up, all the bolt holes mount match. Oops, flip it the other way here. And it's just that extra piece on the end there that's different. So it should be okay when we put it on here. It'll just be sticking out right here. And I'll just use an X-Acto knife after I get the uh, the cover back on. Let's use an X-Acto knife. And, and that should do her. And there's the fuel pump and the fuel pump there. And then this guy was in here. Oh, where's the big spring? Right here, boop, boop, and that's the fuel pump. That's what drives that bulged out piece there with uh, engine pressure. Pumps up and down like that, and then this is the intake here. It sucks in the fuel, and then it delivers it into the carburetor from this one. So that's where these come in handy. Open, close, open, close. So uh, I'll rebuild this and get it done, and then uh, be right back. All right, real quick intermission. Um, just wanted to do a quick lowdown of where I get my parts from and how I found my parts for this tiller because the Toro dealer didn't really have much help. And uh, these are uh, this is the exact website I went to. I did a, a Google search on a Toro tiller motor tiller parts and came up with this superxpower.com and they have everything uh, instead of me moving it forward I'm gonna zoom in here so these are all the categories and you're probably gonna find what you need even uh, snow blowers uh, chainsaws pressure washers uh, wood splitters trimmers and then uh, tillers um, so I was able to go into the tiller section and it didn't have Toro um, but I did uh, go up here to the search. Let's see here. Find your brand. And then I was able to scroll down. And okay, there's Toro. Hit Toro. If it doesn't take five hours to click over. So you get the idea. You're going to have to play with it. And then uh, one other one. Um, I have. Um, I got a engine and an I-beam. Uh, I-beam I got from uh, Scrap Metal 
and uh, I'm going to make a log splitter. So what I ended up doing is I've um, been looking for parts online and I just can't find anything around here locally. It, if, if I do find a cylinder, they want like two, three hundred bucks and I probably have to rebuild it. So um, this Princess Auto, some guys I've been, uh, follow, I follow on YouTube have recommended or, or talked about this place all the time. And sure enough, just in this morning when I went to look at it for the first time, like log splitter kickoff valve, $59.99. Now it's obviously on special, but boom, there, there's the part I'm looking for, and I had a hard time finding here. So uh, they had cylinders. They've got they've got a little bit of everything, and uh, it's it looks like it's better than Harbor Freight, and it's more of like a Napa. Um, and they talk about how they've gotten pulleys and switches and stuff like that for the riding lawnmowers, and they do ship to America. Um, it does require a, um, a Postal code is what they call it in Canada. Here it's called a zip code in the United States. They require a postal code to find the best prices for your location and all this other crap. So you do have to go do a Google search for uh, like Ontario, Canada. That's going to be um, over on the uh, east coast. And maybe if you live on the west coast, do like Vancouver or whatever cities above Seattle. Find out what that postal code is. And that way it ships closer to you. Help with the shipping cost. But um, they have a lot of good stuff. And then here's another resource I use is Northern Tool and Equipment. And they got a lot of great stuff in here. This is more brand new stuff. But like if you need fittings or, you know, like a hydraulic, uh, electric hydraulic pump, you know, specialty stuff, you know, this, this could work. They also have uh, log splitting cylinders. And they're more expensive than the one at Princess Auto. And the shipping's more expensive too. Here's some boat covers. And, so there's plenty of stuff in here. They did have a lot that log splitting valve in, in here, but it's it's $99, so it's it is cheaper to go to Princess Auto, and the shipping's about the same. So this place I think is a Michigan uh, Northern Tool, Minnesota. So you know, pretty far north, sort of by Ontario as well. So um, I'm in Arizona, so I'll probably do a. Uh, Vancouver or you know get get to a Princess Auto closer on the west coast and see if maybe the shipping will come down but good good recommendations on some places to find uh, tools uh, or parts for your your projects and if you can't find it locally you know do a local search whatever part you're looking for Briggs and Stratton dealer whatever city you live in so just a quick break there and back to the carburetor right there from the gasket so all we got to do, you can lightly trim that with just a razor blade. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it's not that important um, because it's, it seals around this area. So you don't want to, when you cut it, you don't want to have it rip on the inside. So you just want to maybe just use a small pair of scissors and just cut it a straight across there just so this piece doesn't get in the way. And other than that, you should be good to go because you don't want to damage it. So. That's the uh, carb rebuilt right there. Here's the old, if you see your diaphragm is, is in that condition, you need to replace it. So uh, just an FYI, and uh, I'm gonna clean up this tank. Uh, I did remove the needle here, the air needle, and I'm gonna lightly uh, sand that up there and um, put this thing back together. I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, solvent either brake clean or maybe even some like WD-40 in there let it sort of um, loosen up the rust and then that way uh, it'll loosen up the rust and then I can use some uh, brake cleaner like in the morning or whatever and that way it'll loosen it up a little bit hopefully if not then I'm actually going to uh, maybe pressure wash it'll run up to the car wash and just I got to pressure wash the engine and the body anyway it's all filthy so put some uh, stuff in there and just hose it down real good and uh, that's about it so there's the rebuild and here's my DJ for the evening Alrighty, back to the tunage here so if you don't if you have internet and uh, you're working in the garage you want some good tunes this guy plays on Friday nights but there's a lot of good casters on justin.tv um, and as well as vonlive.com or vonlive.tv I think it is but uh, or Ustream as well, some of the other good casters. So that's what I've been listening to. If you're just curious, shameless plug, I guess you want to say. So I'm going to clean up the tank here a little bit, and um, 
then probably be done for the evening. Let, let that tank sit and um, the engine over here I need to really hose it down with some engine degreaser. I'll buy some at the parts store tomorrow. But the build up on this, man, that, that carburetor took me, um, what is it, 45 minutes just to get it that clean. And it, I wasn't going fast about it, but it was just very, it really caked on. So this stuff's really bad. So I think what I'm going to do is get some of that engine degreaser and uh, let it soak. And then uh, there's a quarter cart wash up the street. So I'm going to... I'm going to work a little bit more on this, but uh, that's it for uh, part three, so carb rebuild, and uh, that's about it. So today is Friday, hope you're having a great uh, Friday, and uh, have a great weekend, and I will uh, see you guys soon. Ryan with Ryan Industrial. Peace.